Alright everyone, my money game here and welcome back to more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. Um <clears throat> last time I said we would uh be taking on a boss, and we're gonna try to use a uh ability that um is supposed to make this fight a joke. So we'll see if it works or not. I don't know. Uh, might as well save again that since we set it up so if we do get our asses handed to us. I don't have to do it again. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Some help, Riku. Is that? Yes, a Keyblade. But unlike yours, this Keyblade holds the power to unlock people's hearts. Allow me to demonstrate. Behold! No! Now, open your heart. Surrender it to the darkness. Become darkness itself. This is it! This power! <laughs> darkness! The true darkness! <sighs> Again, this should look familiar if you watch it. At least I got to repower my jump in time. Just looks like 
Did I tell you? <laughs> mm hmm. Awesome. Well, I'm definitely changing my abilities real quick because I think it's bullshit. Which is ironic considering the fact that, like I said, it's supposed to work very well, but I guess not. I'm gonna do this my way, the way that I've always done it. So, I mean... Just turns ground-based. Well, actually, since we're gonna have to jump most of the time for this, it might not help us to have the ground-based one. Oh, we don't even need this either. I'm gonna try that. It might not work though since I don't know if it's an aerial based attack, so it might not actually work at all. And I believe we can now skip this. Why did I do that? Not exactly what I meant, but that was pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh! 
That was perfect timing for that. <laughs> oh man, that was perfect timing. Not that that's gonna help me with one fucking thing right now. Got her pretty far down, but the square button to just like do anything. I was like, no, please just let me dodge all the way to this this time. I love doing that. Oh god, that was horrifying. Oh boy. And now I know how that ability works. I'm actually gonna start using that. That actually seems pretty cool. How ironic. She was just another puppet after all. What? The Heartless were using Maleficent from the beginning. She failed to notice the darkness in her heart eating away at her. A fitting end for such a fool. Hmm. Got the fire glow. Not exactly sure what that is for, but you know, cool. <laughs> Jesus. I think we can go back the way we came to save. make sure there wasn't anything else in that room because I want to let you know so you guys can wait a little bit. Okay, so um No, I, I desperately need that. What I don't need is this. Okay, I'll need that. 
I do have counterattack. Good. Um, okay, I already have the one specific ability that's badassery incarnate, so that's good. Um, there's nothing else that I can actually use here, so it sucks. <sighs> My... Okay, I need more items. Though, I don't know if you can actually use them <laughs> that well during this. What the fuck? I'll, <laughs> I'll grab them anyway. But I don't know just how useful they actually are in this. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> oh great. This is a uh, fight test your um ability to time your attacks. Great. I'm fucked. <laughs> uh, oh well. Um, let's see, how long did that actually end up taking? Not long. Okay, so in that case, I will actually continue on this time, because I want to continue on this time, because I'd rather just get this out of the way. best equipment that I can hope to have as well. Is this the crowd supposed to come? I don't think it actually was, was it? <laughs> Okay, no, that's right. <laughs> that's funny. They tell you to just ignore the enemies. They're like, screw them, they're not worth the trouble. <laughs> oh, man. God, I hate this. Okay, you can actually come and see all the uh, princesses here. You can't do anything with them, but... You can at least come and see them, which is kind of cool. <sighs> Welcome to one of my cutscenes that's the bane of my existence when I first played this game. I saw this cutscene way more times than I ever should have. It's no use. That girl has lost her heart. She cannot wake up. What? You... you're not Riku? The keyhole cannot be completed, so long as the last princess of heart still sleeps. The princess? Kairi's a princess? Yes. And without her power, the keyhole will remain incomplete. It is time she awakened. Whoever you are, let Riku go. Give him back his heart. But first, you must give the princess back her heart. What's... Don't you see yet? The princess's heart is responding. It has been there all along. 
Kyrie's heart rests within you. Kyrie. Kyrie's inside me. <laughs> I know all that there is to know. Tell me, who are you? It is I, Ansem, the Seeker of Darkness. This is hilarious, though. <laughs> I love that scene just because it's hilarious, but at the same time, it makes you be like, oh shit. So, I shall release you now, Princess. Complete the keyhole with your power. Open the door. Lead me into everlasting darkness. This is cool, though, as well. Sora! Forget it. There's no way you're taking Kyrie's heart. Okay, so this is Riku. He is a complete and total jackass, and he also is a fucking horrible boss to fight, in my opinion. <sighs> okay, get this. The book says that he's actually easier than the dragon that we just fought. That's a load of horseshit. He's actually even more difficult than that book will tell you, because... He can take you out in four moves, in some cases. Like, the first time we fought this guy, we came in completely unprepared. He annihilated us within, like, just a minute. Like, not even a minute. Like, he just annihilated us. <sighs> and... I can tell you right now, I am not excited to get in getting into this fight. I, I'm like... I don't even want to unpause the game, I'm not even kidding. This is the reason why I was dreading coming back to this game, was this fight alone. Like, this isn't even the hardest fight in the game. I mean, it really isn't, but it's up there in difficulty. Because this guy does not hold back at all. Like, he goes completely out of his way to kick your ass. And, you know, you look at my health and you're like, you know, you have plenty of health, you'll be fine. No, that, like, the amount of health you lose each time he hits you, like, okay, let's have an analogy here. Um, so where the beginning of the health is, take it up to about where his second um, spike is in his lower hair. That's about how much health he can take from you in just one hit alone. <laughs> I know it's not four moves, but I'm just saying, like, he could probably annihilate you very quickly. And it says that you have to, and this is funny, considering the fact that many people say this attack, I mean, this ability is useless. Almost every single one of his abilities, except for, like, some of his magical abilities, are blockable. Considering that, um... That makes this fight a little bit easier. However, at the same time, it's um only set in stone. Like it really doesn't make me any more confident knowing that than it did the first time I did this fight. Like the first time we fought this guy, we got extremely lucky. I'm not lying. We actually got lucky in the fight. Because um, we just managed to use the glide ability. Like, the glide ability can also help you out in this fight a lot, because it can give you distance from him, and it can also, uh, keep you above him. Because, like, he'll do jump attacks, but they're a little bit easier to avoid than his other attacks anyway. But there's this one move that he's going to be doing at some point in the fight, that if you're not in the air, you're dead. Because, like, he just shoots all around the field and attacks you. I know we're just sitting here. I could be doing all of this, but you know, like I said, I really don't want to. Ha! Ah! 
Why you keep seeing me try to quickly run away from him? Yeah, that's because I'm used to using that. Oh, he got me, yeah, like I said. That's one of his abilities that I was talking about, that he doesn't shoot all over the place, but it does make you have a very difficult time killing him. <sighs> but, yeah, we died, and like I said, it, it happens, don't worry. It will probably happen to you oh, at least four times, I want to say, if you're first time playing this and you don't um, know what you're doing. But, like, you saw that we were doing pretty good. Like, you know, I decided not to be a little crybaby and actually hop into the fight, and I was actually doing okay. But, I mean, honestly, like I said, it's so easy to die in this fight that that's just what bugs me so much about it. It's just like, are you, are you absolutely kidding me that that is, like, this is what we have to do? And like I said, it only gets harder as the battle goes, and that's what really sucks. Like, in the beginning part, it doesn't seem too bad, right? But no, it gets harder. Like I said, he starts doing that power move where he, like, shoots beams at you through his sword, like, like he's, like, fucking Link or something. <laughs> and he also um, does this one move, like I said, that, like, shoots him throughout the room. And I remember we got really lucky on one of his... Um, Thing. So, like, what we did is we kept trying to, like, run away from him at points. That's what we decided was our next tactic. That doesn't work. Like I said, that triggers him to do the dash moves that he does. And that just annihilates you so fast. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Yeah, we got a good stopping point there. Um, when I come back, we will um, be back in the fight, of course. And, like, I'll probably actually just wail on him a little bit. Because, like I said, if I can't get the cutscene to um, skip I'll just you know do it off screen for you guys so you don't have to listen to it again because I myself hate listening to it multiple times I know you guys will probably get tired of hearing it multiple times <laughs> so yeah till then everyone bye